to the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not. What's up guys, Young Super Gamer here, and in this video, I'm going to be double evolving my Grizzly Reaper, but before we get to that, I want to go ahead and explain this donation goal thing. So, if you want to, you can donate anywhere from $1 to as much money as you want to donate. There's no limit, I don't think, for donating um, a lot, but you do have to donate at least a dollar for the thing to go through and things like that. But, I have a donation goal, which is face cam equipment, lighting, camera, green screen. So for $100, that's the donation goal because I, uh, I searched up everything and for $100, I will be able to buy a face cam, buy the lighting, and buy a green screen all for $100. So, and I'll definitely make sure that I'll record buying all those things if you guys do want that to happen. But so if you do want to donate, uh, the link to, to donate will be in the description and if you do donate, not only will we be helping the channel out, but you'll have your name displayed right about right here. And the most recent, uh, the most 10 recent donators will be displayed, have their names displayed right here on on stream. And I'll have it on videos as well, just like I have it right now. But there's really no point in keeping it up. I just wanted to explain to you guys what I have going on right now, a donation uh, donation goal and how you guys can donate. You'll just go down to the comment section or description and click the donation link and you have to like sign in with a Twitch account I believe and then you donate and uh, if you donate during a live stream which I would suggest if you donate during a live stream a message will pop up whatever message you put it'll pop up it'll show your name saying who donated how much you donated and things like that just like what happens on any stream whenever somebody donates so yeah, I just wanted to explain that, what's going on with the donation thing, because apparently a lot of people want me to get a face cam going on, so let's go ahead and just get to Double Evolving Grizzly Reaper. So, I already have everything set up to Double Evolve Grizzly Reaper, level 200, Double Evolve, so definitely excited about getting all those books back from Double Evolving him. And he's 505 Enlightened, so I'll probably, I'm probably going to take him to level 200, uh, Double Evolved, after I Double Evolve him. That way when I roll like a War God or some other good talent for him, I'll be able to put it right on him. So, let's go ahead and just double evolve him. Didn't mean to do that. What's his attributes? So, his attributes right now are 60,000 health, and that's going to drop to 48,000 health. And 6,000 dam damage dropping to 3,700 damage. So, the goal by the end of this video is to get him back up above 60,000 health and back up above 6,000 attack. So... Let's go ahead and just use three dupe cards because I have eight of them. No use sense in using shards. And should be good to go. Let's just go ahead and double evolve him. Again, 217 books back. Don't know how much I'm going to use to level him back up and how much I'm going to use for honor badges um, because I have over a million honor badges right now as it is. So I don't really need honor badges that bad. But again, it's always good to have a lot of extra honor badges laying around. So let's go ahead and just double evolve him. Here we go. So double evolve Grizzly Reaper now. Let's go ahead and level him back up. I don't know how many books I have. Hopefully enough to get him to a decent level. See, so yeah, he's level 100 now, uncapped. So let's go and see what his stats are at 6 stars. So already well over 60,000 health. So we reached that goal. But he's not quite above 6,000 attack, which is where I want to get him. So let's go ahead and keep leveling him up until he's over that 6,000 attack mark. So 6,000 damage, 6,000 attack, whatever you want to call it. So, there we go, 7 star, what's he at? He's above 6,000 attack, and he's above 78,000 health. But, I got plenty of extra books, so let's go ahead and just give him some more XP. Um, I was just going to take him up to that goal, but I didn't know it'd be that easy. So, let's go ahead and just get him up pretty much as high as I can get him, except we need gold, and today's a Castle Crisis Day, so it might be a little bit hard to get the gold, but I'm going to go ahead and try to get the gold to uncap him again. And I'll see you guys then. So after streaming for a couple of minutes, I managed to get him to, or get the gold to be able to 8 star him. So let's go and do that now. There we go, 8 star and his attributes, didn't mean to click that. His attributes are over 80,000 health, 86,000 health, and 7,200 attack. And with the buffs, he's at uh, like 9,000 attack. So let's go and put the rest of the books we have into him. And then we should be able to get some gameplay of him. I will make a whole separate video on just gameplay of him and more in-depth gameplay. But just for the video, I'm going to go ahead and just give you guys a little bit of an idea of how he raids and how he's like in a raid. So let's go ahead and put War God Crest on him. 
if I do have War God Crest. I think I do. Yeah, there we go. I got a full set of War God Crest for him. So let's go ahead and see how he does attacking. So we got a pretty good base to test it out here. We got double evolved heroes, evolved heroes. Let's go and see what he does. So I'm just going to go ahead. Alright, so he one shot that Evo at Pumpkin Duke and he took down a lot of uh, Warlock's health. And let's go and see what else he does. Hopefully he'll be able to proc before getting attacked again. Come on. Alright, I didn't want to lose a hero before he proc again. So let's go and find a better base. So here's a base with plenty of buildings to attack. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just let him take out that thing. Let's go ahead and drop Pumpkin Duke and Cupid and see what he does. So with Cupid buff, I didn't see what that critical hit was for, but it definitely was quite a bit. So he took half of Dr uh, Evo Dracax's health down. Evo double evolved Vlad's health almost halfway down. Let's go ahead and see if we can find a hero monster base. That's what I really want to see what he can do against. That way he has... Plenty of buildings to hit off of, so this base doesn't look too bad. Let's go and see what he let's go and see what he does without a cupid buff. No cupid buff now. Let's go and see what he does. So he took down Evo Vlad's health all the way, or not all the way, halfway. Took down Cupid's health. I think it was halfway. Okay, would be really be a lot better to see what he does. On like a hearing monster base but again I will be doing a whole separate video about just gameplay right now I'm just doing a little bit of gameplay for those of you guys who click on this video wanting to see gameplay so let's go and see what he does to this base with just no buffs no nothing let's just go and see what he does so he took down David Pumpkin Duke's health a little bit barely did anything to that Dread Drake and barely did anything at Skull Knight. So yeah, definitely going to have to use him with a Cupid buff. Because he really doesn't do much with without a Cupid buff. But that's pretty much for everybody. Nobody really does much without a Cupid buff. Man, if I roll a sprint, I'm definitely going to put it on. Because he's a slow hero. So he actually got crit activated and still pretty much did nothing to double evolve Dread Drake and other double evolve heroes. So... If, at this point, if I roll a 5-8 War God, I think I'm going to put it on Pixie. I'd like Pixie better than Grizzly Reaper. And it seems like Grizzly Reaper, or my Pixie, does more damage than this Grizzly Reaper. And my Pixie isn't even double evolved, so. There we go. With Cupid buff, you got Vlad's health halfway down, Cupid's health halfway down, Pongan Duke's health halfway down. It's going to get another proc out of him, so. You guys can see what he's doing to these heroes. There we go. He just, It seems like the more he procs the stronger he is for some reason. I'm not sure 100% uh, why that is, but it definitely does seem like when he does like two procs in a row, the damage is just way more on the second proc, so. There you go, on an HBM base, he has sniped that entire base, and that's just Grizzly Reaper, and for Guild War purposes, I'm gonna be throwing him in with Ares and Warlock, so. Let's just go and get one more raid in for the video, and we'll go and wrap the video up here. Um, next double, ev double evolution video, I'm going to be double evolving Paladin. Um, as long as I don't get any more dupes for any of my other more useful heroes. So let's go and see what this Grizzly Reaper does on this base. We should be good to go. So we got a crit hit on that Warlock, taking his health down almost halfway. Same thing with Pumpkin Duke and Cupid. So let's go and see one more prop from him. So there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you have not done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think Grizzly Reaper is better than Pixie or if you think Pixie is better than Grizzly Reaper. So who's better, Grizzly Reaper or Pixie? My honest opinion is Pixie's better than Grizzly Reaper. Let me know what your opinion is down below.